Now let us go to the details about listing column names when it comes to the pandas data frames. The way you can list column names is like this. You can say Toyota underscore data which is nothing but a pandas data frame then dot then columns. Columns is also uh, an attribute not method hence you should not be using brackets like this. You can just say columns without brackets and then you should be able to run this. Uh, you can see here the outcome is like this. In case if you wanted to convert this to conventional python list then you have to use to list function on top of columns. Once you use to list like this then the index will be converted to typical python list. You can see the details here. In the similar fashion you should be able to review the column names with respect to sales reps data as well. In case if you wanted to get column names along with data types you can use another attribute which is nothing but d types. Now you should be able to specify the data frame then say dot d types. D types is also attribute. You can see the details here. It is not only showing the column names it is also showing the data types here. However the difference between info and d types is info also shows not null count on top of column names and data types. Depending upon your needs you should be able to either use columns or d types or info. In most of the cases I typically use columns and d types. I don't use info very often. In this case to list and d types helps us identify what data is available. For example in Toyota dataset we have columns such as car model then sale date then sale amount commission percentage etc. You can start using the relevant columns based on the requirements when it comes to fixing any data quality issues or applying any data transformation rules. You will understand all those details in subsequent sections of this course.